Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Mohammed Haydar. Uh, today I'll be talking about two important features in IB Wave design related to Wi Fi that are usually overseen by designers. Just to be clear, this is version 18 of IB Wave. Uh, let's assume we have this floor plan. We already have our doors, our walls, ceilings, and everything. Um, we want to design a Wi-Fi network, so the best way to do it is come to the network design, go to the access point placement. In the access point placement, select your access point of interest. You have lots of vendors to choose among, and if they don't exist in the database of IB Wave, there will be another video that will follow that will show you how to import VEX files for certain vendors into IB Wave database. So let's use the, here are the various vendors. Let's use the generic Wi-Fi, make sure it has an antenna. Uh, next, you specify the height for your access point. Uh, let's keep it at 820, that's, uh, that's reasonable height if you have a 10 feet uh, ceiling. Uh, overlapping, usually medium is recommended, but you can specify it based on your preference. Uh, this tells you how much overlapping between access points you'd like to have. And uh, finally, you can specify which band you, you want to aim for. I mean, this is a dual band, generic Wi-Fi access point, so let's go with both of them. Usually 20 dBm is a recommended power transmit uh, uh, power by the access points. And for the purpose of this exercise, let's set... Uh, the target RSSI that I needed to be across the whole floor to be NEG60. And then after that, if you're running this after several, after manually or dropping some access points, so you would see the number of access points on plan. And this is the number of extra access points that you would need to provide the coverage that will be displayed over here. So as a first try, we can run it with the following configuration. It may take a minute or two. All right. So for the 2.4 gigahertz, we all know that 2.4 propagation is way better than 5 gigahertz. So you need four access points to cover the floor uh, at NEC, NEC 60. So NEC 60 or better covers 96.45 percent of the floor. For the 5 gigahertz, we, we need 17 access points, extra access points, to provide a 97, almost 97 percent coverage for a NEG 60 or better RSSI. So if you're happy with these results, you can click apply. Then we close. Then we have our access points distributed over the floor. Uh, Make sure you go over them, like th this couple of access points here, they're over the, the walls, so that's not good. Make sure you move them around. You can see by default, um, IB Wave assigned channel one for 2.4 and channel 36 for five gigahertz. And uh, the next feature, which is also as important, is Wi-Fi channel assignment. We come across here. Uh, you can choose which bands you would like the channel to be assigned. In our case, let's choose both of them. You can choose specific configuration. Uh, I would recommend using, this is the 1, 6, 11, 14, and 13, and 24. These are for outside the United States and Canada. Um, so let's choose 1, 6, and 11, because these are the three non-overlapping channels on the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, you can specify which uh, bands you would like in the five gigahertz. For the purpose of this scenario, let's take Uni1, Uni2, and the extension. And this table below will display the results for you, and it'll tell you uh, the number of channels assigned for each access point. This is the name of the access point. These are all the access points we have on the floor. So let's run the model. And now we have, this is the new channel. 
So this one was assigned one, now it's assigned 11. This one stayed at 36 for five gigahertz. Let's scroll down. So we can see those are assigned different channels or are non-overlapping channels. If you're happy with this, you can assign the channels. Here we go. You have channel 100, channel 52, channel 1, channel 64. So I hope that this tutorial was very useful for you. Uh, you can always play around with your access points, get them to your own satisfaction. But I think, in my opinion, the access point placement and the Wi-Fi channel assignment are very useful, at least as a starting point, before you kind of tweak and um, optimize your design. I hope that was useful. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.